Hi, I'm Brian Ernie for SNY.TV, and this is The Baseball Show, presented by Pepsi Max. Joined by SNY.TV analyst Frank Catalanato. Frank, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for having me. Well, there's a reason you remember the great pinch hitters of all time, guys like Manny Mota and Lenny Harris. They excelled at something that's very difficult. You weren't so bad yourself, Frank. Couple pinch hit home runs, 340 OBP. So, how'd you learn the craft? Well, I learned early on when I was a rookie. Uh, guys like Pete Incavilia, Dave Magadan, uh, Billy Ripken, those type of guys, they told me, listen, you've got to be aggressive. They were at the end of their career. They were pinch hitting a lot. And uh, what I did was I went up there and I was aggressive. They said, you want to hit that first good fastball that's in the strike zone. And I had some success doing it. So that golden rule of pinch hitting we hear, the thou shalt not pass on the, uh, on the first fastball you see, that's true? Oh, it's so true. You, you, usually you're facing the eighth or ninth inning guy, a guy that has a great out pitch, maybe a split or, or a nasty curveball. You don't want to have to face those pitchers. When they get ahead with that first strike, they're going to come with those pitches. So I would go after that first good fastball and try to put a good swing on it. Let's talk about getting to know to those pitchers that you might see, uh, the, the preparation that goes into this. So much more film nowadays. Does that help get you ready to pinch it and come off the bench? Oh, it's huge. And during my career, preparation was really, really big for me. I knew I had to be ready to, to hit that pitcher that was coming in from the bullpen. Uh, I would look to see who was, who was warming up. I'd go into the video room, check out what his pitches were doing, what his off-speed pitches were doing, what his fastball would do. Some guys have a cutter. Some guys have a fastball, other guys have a sinker. Some guys like to start the fastball on the outer part of the plate. If I knew that, I'd go up there looking for that fastball out over the plate and put a good swing on it. Well, let's talk about the guys that are good at this, the guys in 2011 who were the best in the game at hitting uh, in with a pinch hit, uh, as a pinch hitter. We take a look in the National League 2011 top batting averages. And uh, does anybody jump out at you on this list? Yeah, Ramon Hernandez, he, he, he jumps out because, like I said, uh, you have to be aggressive, and he's one of the most aggressive hitters in the league. He's ready to swing at that first pitch, especially if it's a fastball, and he's had success doing it. Well, let's jump over to the American League, and uh, I think you have a former teammate on this list, as a matter of fact, as we look up and down. Yeah, David Murphy. He's, uh, you know, he doesn't miss a fastball. You throw him a fastball, he hits it, and that's probably why his, his name's up there. He's had a lot of success doing it, and uh, you know, he's He's not only a good hitter when he's, a, when he's in the starting lineup, but because he doesn't miss a fastball, that's why he's a good pinch hitter. Let's talk about the American League a little bit. You played in both leagues. Is there a difference um, coming off the bench in the American League where uh, managers might not be as inclined to pinch hit as, let's say, the National League? I don't think so. I think pinch hitting is pinch hitting, and you want to be aggressive. And, and whether you're in the National League, the American League, whether it's the fifth inning or whether it's the ninth inning, you want to go ahead Get, get, your, uh, get your pitch to hit and put a good swing on it early. What about starters as opposed to relievers? You know, you, maybe you come in in the seventh, eighth inning. All these pinch hit opportunities mm -hmm. seem to be in such a big spot. There's not that much of a difference. The only thing I will say, if it's a starter late in the game, sixth, seventh inning, he's thrown a lot of pitches, he might tend to throw an off-speed pitch. You know, he doesn't have that heat that he can come with anymore. So he might throw an off-speed pitch. However, if it's a reliever, that guy, nine out of ten times, he's going to pump that first fastball in because he wants to get ahead. Don't let him get to that out pitch. Frank, thanks very much. Thank you. And thanks for joining us on the Baseball Show, presented by Pepsi Max.